Hey, welcome to part number two in this series called Acts 2.42, where we're looking at that verse in Scripture, Acts chapter 2, verse 42, an amazing little passage of Scripture that comes right after the day of Pentecost and gives us this little snapshot of the early church and these four activities that they were devoted to. Now, in the last video, we talked about just this reality that they devoted themselves, and it created this thing called spiritual synergy. It was amazing. If you missed it, you want to go be... Or you want to be sure to go back and check that out, okay? But here we are. Now we're moving into some of the, the activities, the four activities that they devoted themselves to. Now, I'm going to look at this a little bit out of order. We're going to look at the Lord's Supper today. They devoted themselves to the breaking of bread is one of the phrases that's mentioned here. And uh, in the life of our church, we were having communion on the day that we started this series. So, so I worked this into the first message. So I'm going to pull a little snippet of the audio out where I was talking about this particular activity that they devoted themselves to and why communion is so important to our Christian life and how it can empower and strengthen us so much. Okay, I hope this blesses you. Here we go. Here's the teaching. I know it's going to bless you. I'll come back at the end and say goodbye. But uh, here it is, the Lord's Supper. Enjoy this. I want to talk about the Lord's Supper for just a moment as we lead into sharing in it. They were devoted to this thing called the Lord's Supper. It fed them. It blessed them. Every time they shared in it, it was a time to do three things. Number one, it gave them an opportunity to remember why they were coming together to begin with. To remind themselves that it's about the cross. To take some time to remember, I'm a saved sinner. To remind themselves of God's love that reached out to them. To remind themselves, or to allow the Holy Spirit to bring to their memory the sacrifice that made it possible for them to be part of the family of God. To take the time to remember the example of their Savior Jesus, who's the ultimate example of, it's not about me. I'll leave it all behind, and I'll lay my life down and pour it all out for the kingdom. It's wonderful when we take communion and we reflect on those things. It centers us. It helps us to reset things that need to be reset. Number two, every time they shared in communion, it was an opportunity... To reflect and repent and worship. To say, Holy Spirit, search my heart. Is there anything going on in my life that is not honoring to you? And if there is, I repent of it right now. I'm going to walk away from it right now. I'm going to do whatever I need to do to honor you. That's a wonderful thing and it's an important thing to do when we share in communion. And to worship and just say, thank you. Jesus for this. Paul says in 1 Corinthians eleven twenty eight and 29, For everyone ought to examine themselves. Open their heart up and say, Lord, look at my heart. Ought to examine themselves before they eat the bread and drink the cup. For those who eat and drink without discerning the body of Christ, eat and drink judgment on themselves. What he's saying is when we come to it, and we don't take the time to reflect. And we, we take it flippantly. Or you know, we, we take it in a way that we just say, you know what, we're not even thinking about these things we're talking about. We don't take the time to repent. We don't take the time to acknowledge what Jesus did and how that should impact our life. And to surrender. And to worship. Paul says when we come to that with that flippant attitude, it's, it's not a good thing. That's powerful. And the third thing we can do every single time and that the early church did when they shared in the Lord's Supper was they reaffirmed. They reaffirmed, I'm a follower of Jesus and it's this blood and it's this body that have made me part of the body of Christ. And I'm grateful to reflect and remember this. And that really brings up a point too. We don't always say this, but I've seen this happen in the church. Where you pass communion and sometimes there are people and... It's not like I'm in the business of determining who's a Christian and who's not. But there's all kinds of signs that they just don't even know Jesus. And they're just kind of here. And I'm thankful that they are. But, you know, it's not like horribleness if they drink juice and eat bread. I mean, that's not, yeah, that's not the end of the world or anything like that. But it's important for us to understand that this is for people who have repented of their sin and accepted Jesus as the Lord and King of their life doesn't mean you're living perfectly. It means I've accepted Christ as my Lord. And that's why I'm sharing. That's who this is for, right? 
So if you're here today and you haven't surrendered your life to Christ, so glad you're here. It's awesome. And, and we invite you to receive Him today. Man, that'd be awesome. But if, if you're saying, I'm just not quite ready for that, that's fine. Don't feel like you have to take a piece of bread because the person before you did. Just say, hey, that's, I'm not in that. I'm not a follower today. Be real. Be honest about that. But they reaffirmed. They remembered. They reflected. They worshipped. And that's why it fed them and made them stronger. What a powerful thing it is to stop and remember the sacrifice of Jesus. Man, I, I, I hope that you are plugged into a community of faith, a body of believers that, that love the Word of God and that love the Son of God and that practice communion regularly. Never can say that word right. Regularly. There we go. <laughs> that came out okay. Um, it's just powerful to, to pause and look back, isn't it? Well, I hope that really blessed you, man. Be sure to, to like the video if you liked it and grab the link, share it across your social platforms. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. If you enjoyed the teaching and you're not already part of the Pastor Brad Rocks family, be sure to subscribe, man. That would be awesome. Have a great day. Keep your eyes on Jesus, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.